It seems like the terrain model, it seems very different than other kind of systems that we hear about a lot, like Myers-Briggs and Enneagram and star signs, it, because a lot of those seem to be saying you are born this way and this is sort of your natural inclination. But what I'm hearing about the terrains is it's it's more of an evolution that you might experience throughout your lifetime. Does it have anything to do with you know, the way you're born into this world and just who you are, is it, is it just like a, a evolution of almost wisdom type of thing? Well, it is very much uh, a continuum that goes through lifetimes because we are an immortal, infinite being. And this will follow you throughout uh, your course of your evolution through lifetimes. It, it transcends the temporal. These other systems are really working from the moment you're born and in the temporality of this life. They're more behavioral and personality focused. What this is looking at is the underlying foundation or operating system that gives rise to everything that you're perceiving, your beliefs, your values. And so it's it's really looking at the, the bundle of charge and energy that you're holding in your system and in your being that is having you perceive the world as you are. And uh, the healing process, the spiritual evolution is really around surrendering and healing and allowing yourself to come back to this infinite self that we always were. And I would just say, as well as what Alan said, that the, the really simple way to view the difference between star signs and personality types and something like the terrains is you come into this life, you know, as a tall, blonde, you're an ENFP, Myers-Briggs, you're a three Enneagram, <laughs> but all you think that you've come in with, and they're not going to change. Your body type's not going to change. Your personality's not going to change, but your age can change. You can go from a tall 23-year-old to a tall 25-year-old. And it's the same with your evolutionary journey. Your evolutionary journey changes. So you might be an ENTJ, you know, Enneagram 8, but then as you shift from one terrain to the next, you're going to take that personality type and take your talents and your unique gifts and embody them and express them in a different way because you now have a very different relationship to reality. You're at a different point in your growth. And yet your expression of those personality types is going to shift as you move through the terrains because you have various, in, in the various systems, there's levels of maturity. And so as you become more spiritually evolved, there's a, a reference to maturity here that happens with these personality systems. Mm -hmm. One thing I just want to clarify on that is that no terrain is better than the other or smarter or wiser or more evolved or more mature than any other. They're just a different perspective. It's kind of like, imagine you're in an airplane and you started on the ground and all you can see around you is a forest and then you go up a little bit higher and you can see the top of the forest and you can see the ocean behind the forest and then you fly up a little bit higher and you can see you know the whole planet and then you fly up to outer space and you can see that there are no borders and it's all a giant round globe now that airplane is not any better when it's 20 meters in the air or when it's you know a thousand kilometers in the air it's just different it's just seeing from a different perspective so we just always want to remind people that you know it's not better to be at one terrain or better to be at another because because what, wherever you're at right now is the perfect place for you to be because each terrain has its own very specific lessons for people to learn, very specific challenges that we're working through, but also very important gifts that the world needs from someone at that terrain. Like if everybody was at just one terrain, there'd be a lot of things on the planet not playing out that are needed to play out. So it's really important to remember where we're at is actually perfect and there's a reason why we're there and there's it's really not about levels in any way. Yeah. Diversity is the spice of life. As they say, if we were all the same, then we would never learn from each other. And every ecosystem needs its diversity to survive. 